Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this video we are going to animate this illustration in After Effects without using any third party plugin. This is very easy to create and you will learn a lot of things. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and before I begin, if you want, you can download this After Effects project file from the link in the description below. And this has all the layers that we are going to use in this animation and you can start animating right away. So once you have downloaded it, just open up After Effects and you are ready to go. So first we are going to create the animation one by one. So we are going to first hide all of these layers except these backgrounds. So let me just quickly hide them. And first we are going to focus on this. So let's search for an effect called Turbulent Displacement. So just search for it and drag it onto this layer. After that we are going to change the amount to 20. Size let's leave it to 100 and we can hold on the alt key and just click on the evolution after that you can type time times 100 and then just simply select the effect copy it and paste it onto the background layer number two so now if i play back here you can see we have this subtle animation in the background which is exactly what we want now let's start animating other layers so first i'm going to animate this table so let me just quickly click on it you can see that we have this table and I'm going to animate it using the size property. So just search for size and let's add a keyframe and let's move the keyframe to somewhere around here. And we are going to just simply change the X value to zero and we can select the keyframes, press F9 or you can right click, go to keyframe assistant, then easy ease. After that, let's go to the graph editor. And if your graph looks different, then make sure you are in the edit speed graph, not the value graph. Now we can select these endpoints and we can change the graph to look something like this. It's completely up to you, you can play around with these values. So if I play back here, you can see we have this sort of animation, which is exactly what we want. First, we will animate all of these layers individually, then we will offset them to give us a really nice result. Now, the next layer that I'm going to animate is this laptop. So if I enable it, you can see that we have this laptop and I'm going to just simply animate its scale. So I can select the layer, press S and let's uncheck these. After that, let's create a keyframe and let's move to the very beginning. After that, we can set the scale to zero for the Y value, something like this. So now if I play back here, you can see that we have this sort of animation. Again, select the keyframes F9 and we are going to change the graph. For this one, we can just probably set this to something like this. Now I'm going to quickly animate our character. So for that, I'm going to select all of these layers and then just simply enable them and I have already parented them so you don't have to do anything all you have to do is just simply animate the body so for that I'm going to use the position keyframe so let's press P and add a keyframe and let's move somewhere around here and we can probably move it down below something like this after that you can select the keyframes press F9 and let's just change the graph to look something like this So now if I play back here, you can see we have our character and we can add some secondary animation to this. But before that, we have to fix this problem that we are able to see our character beforehand. So in order to fix that, we can just simply select our laptop, then press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And I'm going to quickly call this mask and I'm going to select this, press U to reveal the keyframes. And I'm going to just simply increase its X value so that it's acting as a mask for our layer and over here as well I'm going to just simply increase its value so now if I play back here you can see we have our mask and I'm going to quickly select all of these layers on these I am going to apply set matte effect so just search for set matte and just drag it onto this just select your mask layer and just click on invert now we can copy this set mask and just simply paste on all of these orange layers and we can hide the mask. Now our character will be visible only outside the mask but for that we have to just simply select this and let's trim this by pressing the alt and the left square bracket and let's move them further apart. So now if I play back here you can see we have our really nice character animation and we are going to add some secondary animation to it as well. For that we are going to use this face shape and let me press P for position and let's add a keyframe for position 
and let's move it somewhere around here and let's go to somewhere around here and I'm going to move it a little bit down but you will notice that all these layers are not moving because they are parented incorrectly so we can just simply select all of these layers map them to the face just like that so now we can just simply move it down below something like this and let's move the keyframe to somewhere around here after that we can select the keyframes press f9 just repeat these steps so now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice secondary animation in the head as well if you want you can play around with the position of the keyframes it's completely up to you just like that let's move it somewhere around here so yeah i think this is looking fine so we have bunch of different elements on the table so we are going to animate them first which is this container this pen holder so let me just quickly enable them and this coffee mug so let me just quickly select them and let's press p for position and let's press r for rotation now we can press u to see all these keyframes and for the time being we can just simply place them close to each other now in the beginning what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply select one of these layers and let's just simply move it behind our laptop somewhere around here let's do the same thing with this coffee and let's do the same thing with this container so just select it and let's move it somewhere around here now I'm also going to rotate them something like this so let's set this to 90 this one to negative 90 and this one to 90 as well if I play back here you can see we have this really nice animation but we are going to tweak it further so as our animation reaches over here we don't want it to stop right away we want it to just simply move a little bit ahead so we can select this and let's just increase the rotation in the other direction so let's set this to negative 5 dot 6 on this one let's set this to 5.6 and on this one let's set this to negative 5.6 and let's move a couple of frames ahead something like this now let's set this to neg 2.2 .2, and this one to negative 2.2 .2, and this one to 2.2 .2 as well after that let's move a couple of frames ahead and let's set all of these to zero so we are basically adding some overshoot to this animation which will look really nice once we add some easing to it so you can see that we have this sort of animation now let me just quickly change them by selecting the curves and let's press f9 and let's go to the graph and we are going to quickly change this so first i'm going to just simply select the end point and let's move it to somewhere around here and let's select this and let's move it something like this so if i play back we have this sort of animation now let's zoom in to this section and we are going to animate them one by one so let's just simply select the rotation so let's select this endpoint and let's just simply make this a really nice curve something like this and let's do the same thing over here as well we can probably make it something like this so all you have to do is just make sure that this transition is smooth so now if i play back here you can see that the pen holder has this really nice animation and we have to do the same thing for all of these curves there you go now we have created the animation and if i play back here you can see we have this really nice overshoot animation over here as well if you want you can just play around with these keyframes their position to make this look even better and we are going to offset them later on but for now let's keep them as it is and the next step is to animate the plants so for that i'm going to just simply go over here and we have all these plants and let me just quickly enable them and let's pick some point when we have our character after that we can press s for scale and let's add keyframe for scale for all of these properties and let's move to somewhere around here and let's set this to zero 
after that we can select the keyframes press f9 then press r for rotation and let's set a keyframe for all of these now you can press u to reveal all the keyframes and let's just simply move these keyframes to the very end and in the beginning we are going to change the rotation so let's just simply move it somewhere around here and now i'm going to just simply move them something like this and for this plant we can just simply move it to this direction and this one we can place it over here and this one we can move down below just like this now we can select all of these keyframes and let's just move them somewhere around here again select the keyframes press f9 and let's change the graph and let's make it something like this so if i play back here you can see we have all the plants coming up if you want you can add a delay by simply moving them further to make this smoother just like that now we don't want them to stop right away we want them to have some animation throughout these so for that we can hold on the alt key and just click on rotation and then just simply type this expression wiggle and let's just set this value to 0.2 comma 20 just copy this expression and we are going to just simply paste it on other layers as well and we can just simply change the value to something like 0.3 just copy and paste this maybe 0.4 for this one and just paste it over here as well so now you can see we have this animation and if i play back here you can see that our plants will keep on moving just like that so which is exactly what we want so now let's add some animation to other elements as well so i'm going to quickly select them and just trim them to the beginning just like that so we are pretty much done with all of these animations and there are a couple of more elements so for example if we have these petals which are already parented to the container so if i enable them you can see that these are moving with the container and we can do the same animation for the rotation over here as well so let's select them press r and let's just simply add the wiggle expression just copy this and paste it on to all of these layers there you go now we have added the animation to these as well so you can see that now they are moving as well and let's just select all the layers press u to collapse them now we are going to quickly arrange the layers so that these are behind the laptop so let me just quickly select the coffee petals and all of these containers and let's drag them and just move them behind the laptop and our subject something like this now we can find a point where we don't want the plants to be visible somewhere around here then we can select them and just simply trim them just like that So there you go now we have this really nice animation now let's quickly animate the clock so let me just quickly enable it press s and we are going to just add a scale animation so just move it over here change this to zero easy ease change the graph to something like this that's it so we have our clock animation and let's enable the message and i'm going to do the same scale and rotation animation so press u and let's move it somewhere around here so i'm going to just move it somewhere around here and just change the scale to zero select them press f9 then the graph will look something like this again hold on the alt key and i'm going to just simply paste the wiggle expression just like that now we can probably delay this little bit now let's trim the layer so we're pretty much done with all of these elements and let's quickly offset them and make them look good so first we want the table to come up after that we want these and as soon as our character is coming up we can just simply select them and we can just make our coffee containers all of these come up something like this 
let's move them ahead something like this so i think this is looking nice now let's play around with these petals we can probably add some delete and in between these layers something like that now we can just simply add some randomness to these plants as well so i think this is looking nice now let's add a little bit of more animation to this character as well so for that we can select this and let's press r and let's add a slight animation in the rotation so we can just move somewhere around here and we can just simply move it to something like 5 degree and after that we can just simply change this to negative 5 and you can select them and just increase their distance select the keyframes press f9 so now if i play back here you can see we have this little bit of motion in the character as well if you think that it's too much then you can lower down its value let's set this to 3 and this to 3 as well now let's add some blinking animation to the eyes for that i am going to select the eyes and let's search for size let's click on the size option and let's move the keyframes in the beginning after that move two frames by pressing the page down key then set the y value to zero for both of them then again press page down twice and move two frames and then just simply copy the first keyframe and paste it now we can just simply keep on copying this and pasting it so there you go now we have added the blinking animation as well so you can see that our character is blinking which is looking very nice if you want you can select them and let's move them a little bit in the beginning just like that so this is how you can create these kind of animation perfect so this is how you can create these kind of animation and it's completely up to you you can add more small details which will really enhance your animation look but the basic idea is animating all these elements one by one and just adding some secondary animation in the background as well so i hope you learned something from this video the final tutorial project file is available on patreon so if you want you can support me over there and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one